Recently, I discovered an excellent anime diff motion Laura that can create very natural walking videos of characters. I experimented with SD 1.5 and LCM, compared videos with and without this motion Laura using the same parameters. By default, the character has difficulty moving her legs, but with this Laura, the walking motion of the girl is clear and natural. There are not only front view versions of this Laura, but also three other versions trained for back view, left side view, and right side view walking. According to the provided examples, the results are quite stable. How do you use this series of Laura in Comfy UI? First, go to the model release page and download these four Laura. Place them in the Comfy UI backslash custom underscore nodes backslash Comfy UI anime diff evolved backslash motion underscore Laura directory. If you don't have this folder, you need to install Animate Diff. Let's build the workflow together. The complete workflow will be in the description, so you can grab it if you want to take a shortcut. Load a default workflow. Add a load image node. And select a front-facing girl image. We'll have her start walking in a bit. Add a WD14 node to reverse engineer the image prompts. Use a string function node to add the Laura recommended prompts front view, walking, and connect it to the positive prompts. I'll just add some standard negative prompts. Select a suitable realiltic checkpoint. Add a load Laura node to load the LCM model. Then add a Laura Loader Model Only node and choose the V3 underscore SD15 underscore adapter model to stabilize the anime diff generated video. Finally, connect it to the sampler. Modify the parameters in the sampler, fix a seed you like. Set the iteration steps to 8 because it's LCM, lower the CFG to 1, and use the LCM paired with SGM underscore uniform for the sampling method. Adjust the image size slightly, the author suggests 320 by 512, and I'll set the frame count to 48. Choose the general 840,000 VAE. And add a video combined node for the final output. Selecting the MP4 format. Now let's add IP adapter related nodes to make the girl in the video more closely resemble the reference image. Choose the plus combination for the model, and pre-process the reference image, using prep image from ClipVision. Make sure to set weight underscore type to ease and out, to avoid conflicts with motion LoRa, which could reduce the character's motion range. Next are the anime diff related nodes, including model loading and application, context, and sampling settings. Most parameters don't need adjustments, but you should change the following. Since we're using LCM, it's best to use the SD15 underscore T2V underscore beta model with beta underscore scheduler set to LCM SQRT underscore linear. To have her walk towards us, select the walking front view motion Laura. To stabilize the video, set noise underscore type to free noise in the sample settings. For larger motion, increase multival dynamic to 1.2. Although this flow is already okay, it's better to add upscaling since our original image size is a bit small and might affect the results. Upscaling essentially means applying an upscale to the latent space, and then running it through the sampler for denoising again. Note that the model input for the sampler shouldn't include motion LoRa here, as it significantly affects the quality. So, copy the two nodes from the anime diff flow, and remember not to connect the motion underscore LoRa here. For the best results, I'll also use Rife VFI to insert additional frames, and Reactor to change the face. And just like that, a complete workflow is born. Click Run and check the results. You'll notice the video quality improves from left to right. Isn't this Laura quite handy? That's all for today's video. I'll include the model and workflow information in the description. See you next time.